Hello folks and welcome. Popo S. I'm going to be talking about uh, actually keyboard shortcuts today, not custom themes. Although I do have some of those older videos, which uh, this is a candy theme if you're, if you're curious, and uh, how to decorate your, your desktop with cutesy wallpapers and stuff like that. So, you know, you can make anything wallpaper. But today I'm going to talk about um, keyboard stuff. Custom keyboard shortcuts. Some of them are already available to you and uh, some of them you can add. All right, so custom keyboard stuff. So um, I'm going to start with pointing out that you have a search feature and you can start by accessibility and all the way down the bottom with custom shortcuts. So let me go and start at the top. Are you fairly new to Pop OS? If you are, welcome. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 if you're curious. And uh, I have slightly uh, in the accessibility, I have uh, turned on some of the text zoom to make it not so small. But in either case, if you need to make some changes on the way you're viewing this video, click on that little gear symbol on your YouTube player and adjust accordingly. Now I'm going to move forward. So accessibility option, you can see most of these are disabled. And uh, you have some that already have some populated, like the um, zoom in and zoom out. You can also see some of the features on here. And, and in some screens, they're a little different. Like if you've seen my videos on the file manager, I will use the control key and then scroll forward with my computer mouse to make things bigger or smaller. Kind of comes in handy when you're looking at thumbnails. Okay. But the super key, let, let me talk about the super key for a second. So I'm not sure if you're using a laptop or maybe you're using a, a standard tower computer with a standard keyboard. You know, all of our keyboards are slightly different, and sometimes we have some special keys. So the super key is it's actually a special key with some folks, and uh, that key is normally found somewhere between your Alt and your Control key on the left side of most keyboards, if you have one, if you have one. And some folks have two of them. Mine is actually labeled Start. Mine is labeled Start, and I have a function key next to my Start key also. And I also have the same on my laptops. All right, so with that said, we have some different keys to talk about. Maybe, maybe. So launchers, well, how about some typical ones like Super B as in boy. So I'm gonna press that, the Super and the B key. Opens up Firefox. Some more tips for you in there if you haven't seen any of my videos. Hold down your control key on your keyboard and if you're using a standard computer mouse with a scroll wheel on it, hold down your control key, keep depressing it, and then scroll up and scroll backwards. It'll go from 30% in Firefox to about 500%. If you're doing this with a Chrome web browser, I, I think the bare minimum may be actually smaller, but who operates in that range? Most of the folks probably wanna be a little bit higher than 100, right? Here's another tip for you. Instead of closing the X, you do Alt and F4. And on some keyboards, you may have to pr press the function Alt F4. Again, different keyboards. Very common one is, um, sorry, I didn't mean to click on that. I meant to point at it, is Super T, Super T, or in my case, Start T. Just opens up terminal. Uh, there's a couple of three things I can use to close this terminal box. I can, of course, use the X. I can also use Alt and F4, or I can type in exit. Exit it is. All right, so we have lots of different shortcuts. Some of them are very complex keyboard shortcuts. Super return, super enter, you know, all that good stuff. Navigation. Screenshots. Now on mine, I can use the function insert I'll do that right now, function and insert, or function, and it's dedicated in other words, so I can do the screen thing right here and do a snapshot. And again, I do recommend that you do screenshots if you're altering things. Always a good idea, right? Okay. Sound and media, you can see that mine are disabled, but if I wanted to uh, maybe enable, maybe I don't have one of those multimedia keyboards. 
I can also assign something that's not being in use. A key that's not being used or a combination of keys. Press a key combination to set the shortcut for let's say play. That may be beneficial for some of you folks. System, typical one is Control, Alt, and Delete. Now this will complain that I'm filming. That's okay, I'll still demo it. Right now it's, it's uh, are you sure you wanna log out? Simple screen is recording. I'm gonna hit cancel. Okay, then I'm gonna close and minimize and continue. Show all apps, very common. Uh, Super A, um, then Super V. There's also Control V for paste, Control C for copy. You know, there's a whole litany of things. Tiling, windows. Here's my Alt and F4 to close a window. Super Q is another one. Uh -huh. So that's where I got this. By the way, the Alt and F4, you can just about do that to any Linux distribution to close windows. And again, if you're using one of those keys that your F4 key is used for another function, you may have to maybe do a combination like function alt F4. Just keep that in mind if it doesn't work for you. All right. Almost to the bottom, custom shortcuts. All right, so um, you may have this one already in here, but you definitely won't have that. So I've got Nautilus, my file manager, set for alt and N. And, uh, N. So I'm going to press the Alt and N to give you that demo. Just opens up my file manager. So when you click that about, you'll see that the name is files. But you'll see that my shortcut says Nautilus on it. Now, the reason for that is a lot of folks don't know the actual name of this file manager, also known as Nautilus. I just all I did was hit the hamburger menu on my file manager and did a bad and website. All right, so let me show you that shortcut. And now that I clicked out of here, let's go all the way down, down here. I'm gonna open this up for you. So that's the command, it's that simple. So I name of the shortcut is called Nautilus and so is the command. And you just provide a shortcut. I named, I just used mine with Alt and N. It's easy for me to remember because it's next to my space bar. Alt and N. So there's some shortcuts you can make. Give it a name, give it a command, set the shortcut, hit add. It's that simple. All right, folks, I think I'm done. Thank you for watching.